Everybody's pun here. I want to go through something real quick. OBS has just recently dropped their 26.1 update. And one of those features is an audio feature that selects a Twitch VOD track. It slaves it to track two. And what, what that will do is it'll allow Twitch streamers to have music streamed to their live stream, but not to their VODs. So I want to show you how to do that real quick, but I also want to give you a little warning. So if you want to listen to that and stay tuned. Okay, so here's how you basically get the VOD track set up. So what we need to do is I need to bring up Stream PC. All right, and apologize for the tunnel vision. But under settings, output, okay, under advanced, you got to have output mode selected to advanced. You can have two separate VOD tracks here. Now you see audio track uh, is normal. That's what we've always had. And for streaming, you all, you have track one. Now they've given you this Twitch VOD track. And if you have that selected, then what you would do is you would select all of your tracks that you want to go to track two. That would be your Twitch VOD track. That would be what would go to your VODs and your clips. Okay. Now, there's another part of this that you need to understand, and that is the advanced audio properties of this, because you actually need to manually go and select all your sources, okay? And what you would preferably want to do is not have your music selected. So if you have your sources here, which you can have active sources displayed, or you can turn those off and everything under the sun will come up, including stuff that doesn't have audio, but everything that you want to go to track two, you would then turn on here by cl clicking. As you see here, I have music not going to track two, okay? And that will keep the music off of your VODs and your clips. Now, let's get into the other thing that I warned you about, and that is your VODs or your live stream. People are now misguided thinking that they can live stream copyrighted music to their streams and not get a strike against them. But that is not true because the RIAA record labels and all that have AI based apps that can automatically scan your live streams and issue a DMCA strike. That's not good. You do not want that. So this does not protect you. And I want to warn you about that. Uh, so keep that in mind. You still should not stream copyrighted music to your Twitch account, regardless if it's live separated using this VOD track or not. Uh, this is something that's going to, you're just going to have to sit and wait until Twitch gets this all worked out if they ever do. I seriously doubt it'll happen, but we will see. Regardless, just trying to protect you guys from understanding, from doing that. And I don't want this update in 26.1 to kind of give you a false sense of security thinking you're going to be able to live stream Guns N' Roses or live stream Rihanna or whatever you're going to live stream to your stream without getting a, a DMCA strike against you. All right, guys, that's it. It's a quick video. I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend. Be safe out there. We'll see you later.